Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Jewels, Suds, and Soaps. Today what I wanted to do was a drop swirl. Um, first of all, I did go and prep my mold. This is my one pound mold. So 0 0.3 ounces is the amount of fragrance that I have. Okay, now these are the colors I'm going to use. It's Amaranth, Green Pearl Dry, and a light brown. And you can find these on Amazon. I really, really liked working with these. So I'm going to do the drop swirl. Like I said, we're going to have three colors. Um, and these are the colors that I showed you. We're going to be using clear melt and pour. So the best way to melt it down is to just make smaller even if you can. We have to be smaller, thinner, and even to burn evenly. Continue to cut it down. Now this here is a bar that I made. Um, it was just a regular uh, sample mold size and I, I really didn't like the way it turned out it turned out so I just cut it up and I figured I can remelt that and add a different color and I'll probably add the green pearl dry to this one but it's just another way to reuse Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start melting these. Um, it's important with temperatures that they you get to about a pourable level with most uh, melt and pour is about 130. That's when you want to pour. It's the right thickness. When you develop a skin, um, each manufacturer for soap or melt and pour is different, so you'll have a different temperature. Um, so I'm going to uh, put these on me my medium setting in the microwave every 30 seconds I'm going to stir it and then I'll put it back in for another 30 seconds and stir it and I'll repeat this until it's completely uh, melted so we will be right back okay I wanted to show you the progress this here was after about I would say two minutes um, of melting down on medium heat so I'm going to it feels pretty warm at the bottom but it's very gelatinous as you can see almost like a gel. So I'm going to put this back in, I would say for about, not all at once, but I'm gonna stir it every 30 seconds, but probably another minute and a half. Be right back. Okay, I wanted to update you on just one minute. So it still needs to, and I'm not, it's not real warm here either. Let me check the temperature. 132, when you check the temperature, Find an area that's bare that doesn't have a clump because that will interfere with your reading. I'm going to put it back in for another 30 seconds and I'll repeat until it's done. Be right back. We are back. I'm going to go ahead. I added um, some glitter to this, but I'm actually going to add some micas as well. Okay, then no more than a teaspoon of alcohol. Now don't worry, the um, alcohol, the rubbing alcohol, this is 91%. It will dissipate, so it will not linger. You won't be smelling alcohol. Okay, that's a nice brown. And I'm going to turn it so you can see it. The trick is... Oh, I'm getting all this out. Okay, so I'm going to stir it up and I'm going to check the temperature. This is definitely a pretty brown. And then I added the iridescent um, glitter that makes it pretty too. You know, it's very important during this phase here that the temperatures are correct because this is where you're going to make or break it. 
through soap. Okay, now this one I'm going to put this um, amaranth. It's like a fuchsia. Yeah, I would say fuchsia. And I am going to add a little bit more mica. And I put sparkles here. Now remember, anytime you're using a clear base, which this is clear and this is from a white base, the white base will always be pastel color. Now, this that I melted down, and this as well, they're, they're from a um, clear soap. So you'll have more vibrant colors. I love micas. I think they're beautiful. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to add some glitter. Make sure you get uh, skin safe glitter. Okay, this is getting a skin. So I'm putting the colorant. Again, I'm going to spray with alcohol. Phase, but this has to be fully incorporated. The next stage is going to be, we're going to see what temperatures we're at. Okay, so that's just going to be a pastel green. And I'm starting to get a skin. So what I'm going to do is bring my mold over. And we'll do a quick temp. And just so you know, today I have used uh, one pound of melt and pour and I used a teaspoon of my fragrance oil and you saw the colors in my micas as well okay I am going to start the pour hopefully you guys can see okay they're really starting to thick up which means like I really got to use them Temperature is 127, so I definitely need to pour. And now I'm going to do the pink. Oh, yeah, it's really thick. Now we're going to do the brown. I'm not going to do a butterfly swirl, hanger swirl. I'm not going to do that. I expect to see enough swirls. I'm hoping with just this. really hoping it was thick enough. Oh, this orange fragrance smells so good. Now that's not wanting to break through. So I'm going to kind of force it to. Just the top, I'm kind of swirling a little bit because I'm confident there. Hopefully, there'll be. Uh, I'm hoping and hoping that there's going to be swirls. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take my skewer. Okay, I am going to put some glitter on. Okay, I'm going to let this set about four hours, and I do refrigerate it. It's up to each individual what you do, um, but I do refrigerate it. So we will be back. Uh, back we'll be back when it's ready to be cut. Okay, um, I ended up cutting these down, and I unmolded it and used my crinkle cutter to cut it. But I really like the, the way that these turned out. When I make swirls, this is what I want to achieve. 
So I'm really, really happy. I wasn't quite sure if, you know, the colors would muddle too much. Bring it a little closer. Hoping it's focusing. Here's the side, the bottom. side that one's really pretty now it kind of looks like the green didn't do much but it really did um, even though it's just on the top and the bottom it provides enough contrast for the color right next to it so you know it did work Yeah, I really do like the way it turned out. And I do like the, well, the colors I was thinking summer or spring. And so that's why I have the green, the brown, and the pink. Side. And there's no holes. Here's the other side. Last one. And here's the other side. Thank you so much for watching this video um, and please like and subscribe if you would that would mean a lot to me that way once you're subscribed um, you'll know you'll be notified as soon as I release a, a video so but I thank you so much and I hope you have a great day thanks I wanted to show you I didn't notice it during the cut that looks like a tree so pretty Thanks for watching this video. If you could please like and subscribe, I would really appreciate that and um, make a comment below. Thanks and have a great day.